Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines, and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade of the graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts. Welcome to the 
Division Commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I'm Mr. Aeneas Bai, Crew Training Command Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's class and review. Today, you will see six divisions comprised of the 485 sailors participating in the graduation ceremony and soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to this unit position at center deck. There is a review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Senior Recruit Michael Lopez from Louisville, Kentucky. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is a state flag unit on their sixth unit train, the staff unit on their seventh unit train, and the triple threat unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of crews. During their night arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned to division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of crew training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief head officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduate divisions, the division commanders, and recruit chief head officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each crew chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all productions have been completed. I will be starting from there, right. Division 1, 5, 7. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Vicky Tomlinson. Petty Officer First Class, Yvonne Torres. Petty Officer Second Class, Mauricio Cruz. And their crew chief Petty Officer, Senior Recruit Donald Law from Vallejo, California. Division 1, 5, 8. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Joshua Vance. Petty Officer First Class, Kyle James. Petty Officer First Class, Hunter Brown. And their Chief Petty Officer, Senior Recruit Daniel Booker from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Division 1, 5, 9. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Kevin Richards. Petty Officer First Class Alan Dallas. Petty Officer First Class Nathan Vaughn. And their Chief Petty, Petty Officer Fireman Andrew Klein from El Dorado Hills, California. Division 1 6 0. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Michael Woodbury. Chief Petty Officer Seth Teacher. Petty Officer Second Class Destiny Becker. And their Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Keandra Keys from Raleigh, North Carolina. Division 161. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Joshua Sweeney. Petty Officer First Class Stephen Lucius. Petty Officer Second Class Jerome Abel. And their crew chief Petty Officer, Senior Recruit Cameron Parker from Flint, Michigan. Division 9, 3, 0. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Eric Brown. Petty Officer First Class, Valerie Lutlinka. Petty Officer First Class, Joshua Murillo. 
and their empty pickups seeming the toss of hours from Ross, New York. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff recruit training command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremony sideways, both and honor taking their places for arrival honors. This time of tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marking out the colors, national anthem, and invocation. As a reminder, military guests are remaining covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Chief, Chief Counsel, Counsel, U.S. US Department, Department of Energy, Energy. arrive. The guests may be seated.
Jacqueline Tawaya will offer this morning's invocation. Good morning, let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this new morning. It is a morning of success and celebration. Someone chose to believe that what was called impossible was indeed possible. Someone chose not to yield to self-doubt, setbacks, or obstacles, nor the negative opinions of others. Instead, they chose to believe in you. They chose to believe in themselves and to rise to the occasion. Today, we celebrate this important milestone in the lives of our newest sailors and their families. As these men and women depart Recruit Training Command for A School and then the fleet, be ever present with them, Lord. Remind them of the life lessons that they learned in their homes and in this place. Lessons like do not give up, keep going, keep up the good work, choose right over convenience, be humble and ready to learn, and stay connected to your family and beliefs. Be intentional with your life decisions and stay away from the long crowd. Lord, be our honored guest today. Thank you for all you have done and all you will do. Allow these sailors to stay safe and be strong, ever covered and protected by you. In your holy name we pray, amen. amen.
Order is reporting, sir. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to your United States Navy quarterback. I am Captain Ken Frodo, commanding officer of Recruit Training Command. I'd like to welcome our family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Mr. James M. Grant, third chief counsel of the U.S. Department of Energy. Our guest of honor, Mrs. Del Report, chairperson, Chicago Federal Executive Board, and our special guest, Ms. Sadie O'Leary, Executive Director, of Chicago Federal Executive Board. I would also like to acknowledge staff of our fleet sponsors, Naval Surface Forces, U.S. Pacific Fleet, Sponsor Division 157, Air Test Evaluation Squadron 24, Sponsor Division 159, and Patrol Squadron 30, Squadron Augmented, Sponsor Division 160. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy commands from around the world with valuable mental and motivation while here at Recruit Training Command. Additionally, I'd like to welcome our Gold Star family in attendance, the family of U.S. Marine Corporal Nathan Carlson. And I would like to ask everybody to take a moment of silence to reflect on his sacrifice to our, for our nation. We have a lot of I would also like to welcome all our veterans here in attendance today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 930 graduates today, they're our triple threat unit. Just providing a group choir, drill team, and band that you just witnessed. How about giving them a round of applause? Please join me in one more round for the other four graduating divisions here today standing before. Staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smart, and disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of training and found earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their Navy family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly, and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your Navy resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet Navy Boot Camp Navy Family and check out our website for more information to learn about your new Navy family. Today's graduates will serve as a bedrock of American Naval Forces around the world and join other American sailors on watch to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten. it. I can say with pride, Mr. Andrew, is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest and sharpest sales in the United States Navy.
Mr. Mr. Durant will now present this week's individual awards. He will be joined with drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froger, our guest of honor, Ms. Report, and today's special guest, Ms. O'Leary. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Bernard Clemens, Division 161, Yellowstone Zone. Seaman Natasha Adler's Division 930 from Bronx, New York, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Adler's is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, Seaman. Good 
It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by the sailors with a round of three cheers. The Adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Most importantly, 
we acknowledge the families and friends of these incredible sailors for your time, care, and trust, and hope you gave them in making today possible. Congratulations to you. You should be justifiably proud because their success is a reflection of your dedication. You have helped shape your recruit into a person of the highest character, who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And during the past 10 weeks, you have tirelessly stood by them, supporting, nurturing, and for a few, praying. We now welcome you to the Navy family. Sailors, you are about to embark upon one of the most challenging adventures in your life. Reflecting upon my induction into the Air Force in 1987, I was kindly reminded about adventure, challenge, success, good lifelong friends, and on a minority of occasions, failure. Sometimes we fail, and that's okay. We all fail. But the discriminator of excellence is how you recover, how you pick yourself up, how you embrace your comeback. Essentially, there is no comeback without a setback. And those who do not try, they will not achieve and will never test taste the sweet nectar of success. You see, in my book, failure is only a learning lesson. Moreover, sometimes you are going to engage in the test up front. This is the lesson, and it is called experience. Fortunately, if you listen carefully, you can learn from others who have experienced what you have before you. But in all of this, remember, you will succeed. Why? You are a United States Naval sailor, highly trained, lethal, committed, and focused on mission accomplishment. None can stop you. Sailors, you have chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed when America must show a strong presence throughout the world, in the skies and in the seas. You have taken on the responsibility of defending our nation and are now prepared for the tremendous duty. You have earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. Congratulations, Sailor. Mr. Durant will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
please join me in one more round of appreciation for wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate eight toward the train station parking lot. If your sailor is reporting to Naval Station Great Lakes for follow-on training, you will experience some waiting as your sailor checks in. As you wait, the National Museum of the American Sailor welcomes your visit. It is conveniently located just past the main gate of Naval Station Great Lakes with plenty of parking, free admission, and a helpful and friendly staff. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty